if the wind will lay down, it'll be all right. But uh, we hit some rollers yesterday afternoon when the wind was going, and we, we went underwater a couple times. But uh, I'm hoping if it lays down, it'll be all right. Um, I think it'll be a good tournament. I mean, full moon setting up be pretty good, and see how it goes. Houston, he said long run. I see one console back here. Did you bring a helmet? I did not, but I brought Advil. Yeah, this uh, post front, I don't know what it's going to do. Hopefully, it won't lock them up. Any backup plans in case it does? Yeah, fish deep. Caught a few. We kind of got a good little pattern. I think we're going to run all day today. Um, no secondary pattern, though, so we're swinging for the fences. We're going as far up the river as we can go and get up in a creek, and we're going to skinny dip for the first hour. You need a shower this morning, or just you feel like skinny dip? Well, this is our weekly shower. The polar bear plunge, right? That's it. That's it. It's a cold start to the morning. Temperatures in the upper 30s, low 40s, but things have been hot out on the water this year for 2017. Hi, everybody. I'm Robbie Floyd, Kay Donaldson with the Alabama Bass Trail, the third stop overall, the second for the North Division, Kay. But when you look back at the previous two events, 25 pounds, 30 pounds to win, I mean, it's been unbelievable. From north to south, Alabama has really pumped it up as far as fishing goes. All of our lakes are in great health, and Pickwick should really show out today. Yeah, Florence, Alabama, Lake Pickwick, it's known for big bass out here and one thing is contention is most of the anglers always want them to pull water and they're definitely doing that you know i think tva is going to be their friend today a lot of times we hear well they didn't pull water and i really needed water but today they're pulling water so i think you're going to see a lot of guys coming in and i think that's going to make those small mouth a little more active and it's going to be good to see some brown fish come across the stage and deal with the cold weather they're expecting possible showers maybe even a little snow it's cold start but i promise you they're going to catch the fish <laughs> Well, here we are, stop number two, ABT North Pickwick Lake. And of course, you know, it's mid-March, it's a bass tournament, it's gonna get cold, about 38 degrees, a little bit of wind this morning. We're here with Nick. And uh, Nick, we've, we've come up to the dam and um, pretty popular spot this morning. Yes, sir. It looks like there's about uh, 30 to 40 boats up here. Uh, it's really a community hole. It's called the Horseshoes, where most of them are fishing. Uh, there's a few that are up running toward the dam and drifting back down as well. So obviously they're moving a little current this morning, so a uh, pretty popular spot. And uh, how long do these guys stay up here usually? Uh, if they're catching, they can stay up here all day. Uh, with this many people in here, some of them might get fed up and if they don't get their limit out of here, run pretty quick. It looks like so far we've been only been up here about 10 minutes and it looks like there's a lot of running and gunning and shuffling. Uh, a few of these guys could stay up here all day. I know there could be potential 20, 25 pound bags caught up here easily. 90% of the guys up here right now will be throwing a swim bait or spinner bait. That's what it looks like everyone's throwing. Like this, like I said, this is the kind of horseshoe, so it's known for it being big boulders and rock piles in here. Uh, these salt, small mouth and large mouth will just set up and wait for the bait fish to come over there. So it looks like to me, most people are throwing a spinner bait or uh, a swim bait. Make a pretty good fish, good keeper. Let's talk about the weather for a little bit because we had highs in the 70s this week prior to this event. And then we wake up this morning and it's 38 degrees. It's gonna be a high of about 45 today. And I looked at the weather last night and they're calling for a chance of snow tonight. So what's this gonna do to these fish? Uh, these fish, I honestly don't really know how much it will affect it since these fish are mostly related to current. Sometimes if the fish move up, especially down lake, if they're decided to move up, they're gonna stay shallow. They might move a little deeper. It might uh, knock off the bite a little bit, but I still expect these guys to catch them pretty, pretty good. Well, that's one thing about a, a 204 boat field. Somebody's gonna find them. Somebody's gonna whack them. Yep. And that is what you're looking for. <laughs> Alabama Bass Trail TV, presented by Phoenix Boats, is brought to you by Bill Penny Toyota, official truck of the Alabama Bass Trail, and by Wind Creek Casino, where you can have your wedding moments. There's more to come. Greg Hackney, 2014 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Aaron Martins, 2013 and 2015 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. What else do these guys have in common? Phoenix Boats. The last three Bassmaster Angler of the Year titles were won out of Phoenix Boats. Coincidence? We think not.
Phoenix Boats. Our passion for fishing is obvious. So our mission statement here at Bill Penny Motor Company is to enrich the lives of our employees and our customers and the communities we serve. And it really begins and ends with people. It started with that kind of philosophy with my granddad and went through my dad. Growing up around the business, I remember being just a kid washing cars and meeting these customers. Now I'm a grown adult and they get to buy vehicles from us and hopefully serve their next of kin for generations to come. For the whole story, visit us at BillPennyToyota.com where people always come first. Lights are dazzling, shining bright. The busy hum permeates the air. It's electric. With a dash of spice, you kick up the heat until you spin it, twirling on your feet. Sweat it out. The thrill of the game, the high of the night. The sizzle of temptation, the intoxication of sensation, and just like that, it's another ending to your glorious hot Alabama nights. Wing Creek Casino and Hotel in Montgomery or Wetonka. Find your winning moment. Let's get down to business. Quiet, you sons of fishes. Now, what? I, I'm switching sonar. Why? Because th now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. You witness the action, the thrill, and the competition of the Alabama Bass Trail. Isn't it time you got involved? Coming in 2018, over $47,000 paid out for each event. No entry fee championship, 85 grand up for grabs, plus a new Phoenix. More than half a million in cash and prizes. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Sign up now by logging on to alabamabasstrail.org. The Alabama Bass Trail Tournament Series, presented by Phoenix Bass Boats. We'll get back to the action on Pickwick Lake in just a moment. But first of all, I'd like to talk to you about Florence, Alabama and our host, the Florence Lauderdale Tourism Board. On your visit to Florence, make sure that you check out McFarland Park. I'm not sure there's a prettier scene to launch over 200 boats for any kind of tournament. The marina, the campground, the playground and the beach area offer so much for families to enjoy on their weekend destination. And you have to stop by Stanfields here at the harbor. It's absolutely fantastic. Take time and enjoy the sunsets while you sit out on the deck at Stanfields on the water. Enjoy some key lime pie and all the other good things that they have here. And while you're in Florence, please take time to stop by 3614 Jackson Highway, one of the places that the Beatles recorded. You can, you can stand in the very place where Supergroup Alabama performed. So take time to visit Florence, Alabama, take in some great fishing, a lot of great food, and some pretty interesting attractions as well. Well, Nick, running and gunning and fishing in a crowd seems to be a popular choice today. Seems like every time we stop, uh, you find a couple of places where there's five, six, seven boats, and then a lot of people look like they're camping on a spot for, you know, 10, 15 minutes, and they're out of there. Sure. Well, you know, we started at the dam, and now we've run up here right just, just south of the Trace Bridge, and the number of boats we saw you rarely saw one by himself. It was always a crowd, it seemed like. Yep, it sure did. Uh, and it seems like most people are targeting grass and spawning flats uh, for fish that are starting to move up is what I've seen on the way, you know, coming down. Uh, most of these guys that are grouped up are fishing. It could be grass that they're fishing or like I said, just spawning flats where fish are moving from the deeper water, getting ready to come up and spawn. The water temp hadn't changed a whole lot from one end to the other, so we'll uh, talk to a few of these guys and see what uh, see how they're see how they're doing. Looks like it could be a pretty good one. Came off. Oh! That's the excitement and the agony of fishing right there. Fish. short.
boys. This portion of the program is sponsored in part by Sweet Home Alabama, by Garmin, and by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Alabama Bass Trail TV, presented by Phoenix Boats, will be right back. road trips and some of the best are outdoors like a trip to Lake Gunnersville first stop on the Alabama Bass Trail catch anything nice or head to the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail 468 holes of golf heaven what's the time say best public golf on the planet Alabama's got a hundred road trips plan yours at alabama.travel which one you gonna take Catch another 14 inch fish, I swear. Oh god, yeah. Big stuff. Oh, got broke the net. This is a big one, dude. Let's get in on that one. Oh. There you go. <laughs> there you go, guys. Got the babies here now. every 14 inch fish in this lake. <laughs> Sounded like they had a particular angle that they were throwing in because the guy on the sounded like the guy on the back was asking about you know yeah yeah so yeah. so it sounds like they've got a exact line that they're catching their fish on got another one. It's a chunk.
Well, when 211 is your smallest fish, looks like this is probably going to be another call here. I mean, on a day like today, it's a good day. I take it. We'll see what the weight says here. It helped. So two eleven is no longer the smallest fish. Alabama Bass Trail TV, presented by Phoenix Boats, brought to you by Bill Penny Toyota, Sweet Home Alabama, Wing Creek Casino, and by Garmin. There's more to come. Let's get down to business. Quiet, you sons of fishes. Now, what? I, I'm switching sonar. Why? Because now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. Greg Hackney, 2014 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Aaron Martins, 2013 and 2015 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. What else do these guys have in common? Phoenix Boats. The last three Bassmaster Angler of the Year titles were won out of Phoenix Boats. Coincidence? We think not. Phoenix Boats. Our passion for fishing is obvious. So our mission statement here at Bill Penny Motor Company is to enrich the lives of our employees and our customers and the communities we serve. And it really begins and ends with people. It started with that kind of philosophy with my granddad and went through my dad. Growing up around the business, I remember being just a kid washing cars and meeting these customers. Now I'm a grown adult and they get to buy vehicles from us and hopefully serve their next of kin for generations to come. For the whole story, visit us at BillPennyToyota.com where people always come first. Lights are dazzling, shining bright. The busy hum permeates the air. It's electric. With a dash of spice, you kick up the heat until you're spinning, twirling on your feet. Sweat it out. The thrill of the game, the high of the night. The sizzle of temptation, the intoxication of sensation, and just like that, it's another ending to your glorious hot Alabama nights. Wing Creek Casino and Hotel in Montgomery or Wetunka. Find your winning moment. Are you done yet? Does it look like I'm done? Shouldn't you be at work? Shouldn't you be at work? Todd. Hold on. Your real bike's all fixed. And you guys are good. Well, we are the number one motorcycle insurer in the country. <laughs> Wait, you have a real motorcycle? And real insurance with 24-hour customer support. <laughs> well, I retire as champion. Game hog. Champion. Tournament director of the Alabama Bass Trail, the official Waymaster, Clay Baldus. Big round of applause. 10,000 people cheering for Clay. You had the thing pulled up over your face just a minute ago, but you want to let everybody see that, that mug now. Yeah, it's, 
It has been a brutal day out here today. It's, it's been chilly. cold, windy, a little bit of sleet, a little bit of snow happened earlier. It's just been crazy. And there's a lot of anglers in the in the in water way in system today. Your guess, we always do it beforehand. What is it gonna take? Case at 28. Dude, I'm gonna go 28-28. I want 27-77. 28, 28, 27-77. That's mine. All right, so we're right around there. And either way, those are huge weights, but it is a cold day, but it's time to fire things up. Ladies and gentlemen, let's we bring up our first set of anglers for the day. They were in boat number 10, five bass weighing 16.75. So moving on up, pretty darn good start. And it looks like we may have a new leader, 17.35. We're moving on up that leaderboard. Mixed bag of bass, good deal. Holding on up there. How about a round of applause for these guys? They're taking the lead right now. Over 17 pounds. We're gonna set the tone with our big bass. See how much weight? I don't know, I don't wanna say. T tell me. Maybe 18. Oh, that would be near the lead. He says maybe 18. It's not 18. It's 19.44, you have done it. Taking the lead, so your 18 was an under guess. How did you catch these fish today? Uh oh, fishing a big flat with a rattle trap. Trapping the flats, uh, moving up. Both of y'all doing the same thing? Pretty much, all day. How, how many different locations did y'all go to? Just two. <laughs> Just two. All right, how many people were around you in these two locations today? About 150. Really? Five bass, it's tough following those guys. You got the same thing? Yeah. Oh yeah. Pretty close. Ooh, I like that. Were y'all near them fishing yeah, the same probably, spot? Probably so. Similar spot. He says he's pretty close. You're not even close. We went from 19 to 2282 for Britton and Springer. Just like the Jeffersons, man, you are moving on up. I, it probably won't last though. Won't I, I, tell me about your day. Caught them all on the swim bait. Hey, on, I've seen a lot of bandages on your hands. Is that from all the fish you've been catching throughout the week? Quick story. Second cast for morning. He's done landing one about five. Nice. I throw and hit a daggum comorant in the air. Oh, a kite fish, I like to call him. Never let a comorant bite you. What did you, you reeled him all the way in the boat? Reeled him all the way in. He cut, I, I bled like a stuck hog for about an hour. <laughs> So he catches a bird, in case you don't know what a comorant is. He catches a bird on a cast, reels him into the boat, because why? You wanted that crankbait or what? I got to have my swim bait back. Oh, it's a swim bait. That's where the swim bait ended up. Yeah, he keeps So where is the swim bait? He, he's flying around somewhere. <laughs> he's around his own. So don't reel it in the boat. So Rex and uh, Eric have 1927. Is where is it? where are we up in that? That gets you in the top three. You had a good day. We, we had a good day. We had a really good practice, but uh, he, he, he was with the tail race and it got a little crowded and uh, lots of boats, lots of fish caught, but uh, we did not catch a smallmouth all day. Our lead, really? our lead's 2282. Ooh, ooh, you sure that's a bass? Looks like an amberjack done jumped in this basket. Saltwater fish, by the way. 22-82 to take the lead. 23-19, now a new leader. A great start. How did you? And we're still early in this program. A day of guys weighing across, but how did you catch them? We went up to Natchez and fished grass about six feet deep. And caught a lot of them on chatterbait and rattle trout. 882 for our big bass. Did you catch it? Sure. No. Uh, well, I said it takes 23-19 to take the lead. 23-29, one tenth of a pound into the lead. Woo! That is cutting it close. One tenth of a pound, man. That could be the difference. Yeah, but there'll be somebody else coming in. Fish bit today. I really expect it to take a lot more weight today. So right now our lead is 23-29. Our lead changes to 25.89. We're over 25 pounds. Dude, y'all were slow playing me the whole time up here. You're just like, ooh, let's weigh in our fish. 25.89. What was it like out there on the water? Well, it was a good day today, better than we expected. Uh, wh what did you expect? Uh, we, we had a little tougher practice. We thought we could catch fish, but we didn't know we could catch that. What did practice look like? What were y'all doing in practice? Did you do the same thing here on game day? Well, in practice, we just bumped them. We didn't really know what was there. We didn't want to bear down on them. What were you throwing today? About everything come off of some type of swim bait. Yeah, a swim bait. So you're in the tail race? Yeah, pretty much.
Another successful day on the Alabama Bass Trail presented by Phoenix Boats. And, and once again, Alabama Lake show out. Not quite the 28 we thought at the start of the day, but multiple 20-pound bags. I mean, this place, it was cold, but the fishing was hot. I think they actually caught more weight than it was in degrees today. I'm absolutely freezing to death. And if you can go out and fish for eight or nine hours in this kind of weather and bring in 25 pounds, I wish I could give them more money because they certainly deserve it. It was a great tournament, a lot of fish caught, and these winners sure deserve a round of applause. Speaking about bringing in more money, come on in here. Brewers Surratt taking the victory today. And was it a surprise to you at all after practice and everything went that you were able to catch that much today? Yes, we, we thought we could get 20 and would be happy with 20. And we just got a couple of more big bites that bumped us on up. Probably made you a little bit nervous, too, knowing that guys were catching them in different ways, not just the tail race as well. Right. Yeah, we, we thought the big bag would probably come from down the river. We knew some friends of ours was catching some real big fish in practice. So we figured if somebody put a couple of them in with some other good ones, they'd be able to get us. And, and I can only say it so many times, it was a freezing cold today, little sleet, chance of rain and a chance of snow, but no doubt the fishing was hot on Pickwick. They caught them a multitude of ways. It took over 25 pounds to take the victory. And once again, the lakes in Alabama are just showing how good they are. Thanks for watching here on Fox Sports Southeast.